Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here with my crazy bench set up. But I am so excited to uh, have fixed the problem that I've been working on for a long time and fixed it really solid this time. And that is getting the AD724-8725 working on Sega Genesis Model 2 and Model 1 systems. This is my... Uh, this is the 8725 right here. This is my new board that I'm uh, prototyping. This is the Encoder Board Pro version 2.0. And it's got overclocking. It's got dual crystal oscillator switching for full PAL and NTSC color modes. It's got a TH7, THS7314 RGB buffer, which is that chip over there. A bunch of other bells and whistles. It does button combinations for all these things as well. And it's got RGB buffered output, S video output, and composite video. But wait, there's more! I actually have finished developing version 2.0 of the Sync Cleaner Pro, which I have for sale right now as well. And this I was just testing before sending it off to somebody in Japan, which I think is really cool because I order lots of stuff from Japan. And it's kind of like giving something back to the motherland. Uh, so I have this hooked up right now in composite video to that small screen and then I have it hooked up to S video right now to this screen. This is all going through the 8725 and as you can see the picture is gorgeous. I am super super happy with this picture. Uh, my camera here is not going to do it justice but let me just hold it here for a second and let you decide. This is on a uh, hacked portable DVD player that I've hacked as a video input for testing. It's really convenient because you can swivel the screen up and down so I can see very easily when I'm doing tests for things. Now, for those that are unfamiliar, the uninitiated, the 8724, 8725 are very nice chroma encoders. Look at how great that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are some of the best analog composite encoders that you can get that don't require microcontrollers and all sorts of uh, programming. And they're great little chips, but they do not like the Sega Genesis synchronization pulses. They don't play nice. And those pulses get all messed up, result in huge color problems, which I posted in a previous video. I'll try to link that here, uh, showing Battle Mania 2 with all sorts of like crazy colors going on. And uh, it took some work to figure out that problem and what was going on. I have a little more background on it now. And so I developed a new sink cleaning board, primarily developed for this, but actually also primarily developed for like arcade sinks, which are always out of whack and stuff. And uh, as you can see here, man, this makes it look real nice. Uh, no wonky colors and everything plays like a dream. So, yeah, I'm actually going to be doing one more, uh, even more ridiculous sink cleaning PCB that'll, uh, due to popular demand, people are wanting a, a sink cleaning board that'll work with the Sanwa PFX arcade monitor. And that monitor is actually out of spec. And so I've got to develop a special board to try to uh, be nice to it and make sure that uh, other games and stuff work with it. But for now, this uh, this sink cleaning board is super good for monitors that don't have uh, weird issues. For most monitors out there, this board is going to work like a charm. And this upgraded version 2.0 is actually going to work better than the previous versions too. Uh, the previous, well, only one version before this, version 1.0. So yeah, you can get it from my shop. I'll try to put the links down below. And uh, yeah, enjoy some uh, classic gaming the way it was meant to be with some cleaned up sink pulses. Uh, I'll try to make a follow-up video to this where I show, I have one other video where I show the uh, the noise that it cleans up off the sync line. Uh, it's quite a lot of noise that it cleans up, actually. It's actually more, uh, um, it shows up on an oscilloscope a lot more than I was originally expecting. And I'll try to make a video of that when my bench is not a total mess right now. Uh, too many things to uh, tend to at the moment, but I will get to that soon. Feel free to let me know if you're interested in these kind of things and if you want me to develop more sync cleaning boards and video circuits, or if you want me to develop other stuff, let me know. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.